Good day, everyone. Good day, H-E and then I-C-P. So for today, we're already in our um, chapter 11, Business Modeling, Lesson 1. So we're going to talk about business concept and models. So before we proceed to our um, lesson, so here are um, some questions. So does your proposed product or service follow a particular business model? And so yung na propose niyo bang business or yung naisip niyo bang business ay may sinusunod na um, business model. So later on, we'll know ano-ano ba yung mga nasa list no, ng mga business model. So at the end of this discussion, we have the following learning objective. So first, um, we should be able to create business concepts and we should be able to create models for the proposed product or service. So um, activity muna tayo, no? Yeah. So, um, choose one business establishment that you know well. Make a quick recall or research about its background and start up. Then, answer the following questions. So, may naiisip ba kayong business establishments na um, siguro mga favorite brands natin, no? And then, mag-research tayo kung paano siya. Um, naging successful, ano yung mga background niya, simula nung nag-start yung business hanggang sa maging successful na siya. Okay. So yun, isa sa mga naiisip kong um, business, ayun. Pero ito naman, hindi naman siya ganun kasikat. Pero at least, um, alam ko tong business na to. Ayun. Um, ayun. Uh, isa siyang cosmetic. Cosmetic na business. And then, nag-start ata siya ng, ayun, according to the owner, nag-start siya ng magbenta during the pandemic. no So, ang reason kung bakit niya na-create or bakit cosmetic yung napili niyang product na um, ibenta, it's because nahilig talaga siya sa makeup. Ever since nung nag-aaral pa lang siya or high school yan, nahilig siya sa makeup. And then, nung pandemic, ayun, since um, kailangan niya ng additional na income for her family, so yun, nag, um, nagbenta siya ng, ng cosmetic. And then, um, yun, gumamit lang siya ng mga marketing strategy in, on how to promote her products. And then, nag, nag-click naman yung product niya. So, yun, hanggang ngayon, um, parang last 2020 ata, 2020 up to now, um, marami pa rin naman bumibili ng products niya or yung cosmetic product niya. Yan, so, ayan, how did the owner come up with his or her business idea? Ayan, maybe yung mga habits natin, yung mga, um, uh, yung mga hilig natin, no? Ayan, what were the steps, the steps the business owner took to, to turn his or her idea into reality? Ayan, siguro ano, um, unang step is, Unang step is mag-research tayo, no? Ayan. And then, siguro, um, magaroon tayo ng uh, courage na iput talaga siya into reality. Ayan. Ayan. Um, siguro yon yung unang step din is yung tamang mindset, no? How do entrepreneurs create a structure to visualize their ideas for business? Ayan. Um, Yan, ano-ano kaya yung mga type D ng mga structure no? Yan, kung anong classic structure yung, ano, yung para ma-visualize natin yung mga ideas natin. 
So what is business concept? Business concept is a foundation idea that describes the reason for the existence of a business entity. Yan, foundation idea that describes the reason for the existence of the business entity. Yan. Next is it intends to provide meaningful direction for processing a business plan and launching a firm. It also clearly identifies the key terms and basic information required to build a profitable business. Yeah, so yung business concept yung nagbibigyan ng direction yeah, for the processing of business plan and launching of firm. Yeah, and paano natin siya magiging, paano siya magiging profitable, paano siya magiging um, stable, ayun, ito yung mga, um, mga elements na kailangan natin malaman for the business concept. First is the features. An entrepreneur must describe the specification of the product or service. It is important to choose strategic words that will catch the attention of potential customers. So first, ayan, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba ng product mo, no? So other product or service. So ever since... Yan, sinasabi ko na na magkaroon dapat ng um, uniqueness yung product natin or yung services na in-offer natin. Yan. Um, another way is to choose strategic words para makatch natin yung attention ng mga um, buyers natin or yung mga potential customer natin. Next is the benefits. In describing the benefits of the product or service, it should clearly discuss the solution the business can provide. Think of benefits as a way to ease the pain and problems of the customer. Yun, syempre, kaya rin tayo nag-create ng product. It is for the benefit of the customer. Not only um, for the sake of the uh, maximization of the wealth or the um, profit or the, um, the income or sales. It is also for the benefit of the customer. Kaya tayo nag-iisip ng business. It's because may nakita tayong um pangangailangan ng mga customer natin. Yan. A business concept is composed of a few sentences and is not more than one page. It is different from a business plan which is more extensive document. Yan. So, ang pinakaiba ng concept sa plan, yung plan kasi detailed, no? De detailed from the first process up to the um Yun, uh, from the first process up to the um, assessments, ayan, and then yung mga future goals natin. Well, the business concept, ano lang naman siya, parang few sentences lang naman siya, and dapat hindi siya lalagpas ng one page. And so, for example, example ng business concept. So, product name, calories watch, product description, a watch designed to track, the number of calories burned during an exercise routine. So, ito, itong business concept, pwede natin siyang makita din sa um, mga piece natin, yung mga product place, um, process, price, and etc. No? Pero mas makikita natin siya sa mga product natin. Yan, meron tayong product name and then the product description. And then for the business concept, Calories Watch is a mobile application designed for fitness enthusiasts to help track their progress during their training. The application measures the number of calories burned using an innovative circulation method that no other application can provide. So ito pa din natin itong makita sa product description or dun sa product name natin. So, under nun, pwede pa tayong maglagay ng business concept natin. So, how do businesses create and deliver value for themselves and their customers? So, yun. Um, paano nga ba tayo makakapag-create ng value, no? Hindi lang para sa business itself, but also for their customers. 
Yes. For the business model, um, it is a conceptual structure that explains how a business operates and intends to achieve its goals. All business processes and policies that the firm adopts and follows are part of a business model. Ayan, so may mga um, conceptual structure din tayo na um, pading sundin na or pwede natin maging guide kung paano mag-operate and para ma-achieve natin yung mga goals natin. And um, yung mga policies natin and the mga processes na pwede natin i-adopt is part lang siya ng business model. And so, and here are the types of business model. First is the manufacturing business model. Transform raw materials into finished Product. So, yung mga gas and then yung mga ABM, for sure alam, alam nila to, no yung mga types ng mga business structure na tinatawag. No? Yan. So, for first is the manufacturing. Pag manufacturing raw materials into finished goods. Yan. Yung mga businesses na nagtatransform ng raw materials into finished goods ang tabog sa kanila, manufacturing. So, for example, yung mga Unilever, mga San Miguel. Ayan. So, may mga supplier muna sila ng raw materials, no? And then, um, itatransform nila ito into finished goods. First is the Distributor shift, distributor, distributor purchases products from manufacturers and sells them to the retail, retailers or the public. And so from the manufacturers, yan ang purchase yung mga distributor natin and then isa-sell nila to or ibibenta nila to sa mga retailers. Yan yung mga retailer, retailers naman, sila yun yung mga nagbibenta ng mga tingi-tingi naman sa public. Or pwede rin naman siyang diretso sa public na. Next is the retail business. Engage in selling directly to the public after buying the products from a distributor or wholesaler. Yan. For example, yung mga maliliit na sari-sari store, yan. kung nabili nila ng wholesale yun, Pwede, na, pwede nilang ibenta ng tingi-tingi. Franchise model engage in using the parent business model instead of creating new product. It may be manufacturer or distributor or retailer. So yun, alam, alam naman natin kung ano yung mga franchise. No? For example, um, instead na mag-isip ka ng mga panibagong new restaurant, new fast food restaurant, pwede ka naman mag-franchise na lang ng Jollibee no? or McDo. And brick and mortar, it is traditional business model where manufacturers, wholesalers, and retailers deal with the customer personally in an office shop or store that the business owns or rent. And so, meron silang sariling um, office or shop. While yung e-commerce naman, business model that upgraded version of brick and mortar. So, yung brick or mortar or brick and mortar ay meron silang physical store. While yung e-commerce naman like yung Shopee, Lazada, ayan, through, in, through online or internet na yung store nila. Bricks and Clicks business model has both online and offline presence. It allows the customer to place an order online and pick up the items in the physical store. So yun, um, combination siya ng online and then offline. And so for example, um, ng brick and clicks mod business model. Yeah, pwede siyang milk tea. Pwede kang mag-online, pwede kang mag-order online and then pick up mo na lang. Actually, yung Starbucks din ganun. Meron na rin silang marketing strategy na pwede kang mag- order in advance. So, pagdating mo ng store na hindi mo na kailangan pumila, no? Ayan. So, elements of strong business model, specific market. Ayan. Again, sinasabi ko na dapat meron tayong specific target market para yung ideas natin, yung products natin, or yung 
feature ng products natin naka-design para dun sa specific group na yun. Kasi pag um, whole group or marami tayong target market, masyadong general, maaring sabog yung product natin. Kasi hindi natin alam kung paano siya ide-design kasi ang daming nating priority. Business processes before the business operates, the entrepreneur should have an understanding of the activities required to make the business model work. Determine the, the key act business activities by identifying the, the core aspect of the business offerings. So yan, bago tayo mag-operate, mag no? um, kailangan muna natin mag karon ng documentation ng processes natin no? For, from the first um, step to the last step. So yun, sa, um, dun sa business plan natin, meron pa yung part dun, no? chapter 3. Chapter 3 ng business plan, which is the process. Yan, pwede, natin, pwede tayong maglagay dun ng step by step on how to operate the business or kung paano tayo mag um, mag aasikaso ng mga customer natin no? mula pagpapasok nila ng pinto hanggang pag, pagkalabas. Key business resources. Yan, record essential business resources to ensure that the business model is adequately prepared and sustain the needs of the organization. So yun, um, let, um, i-make sure na lang natin na lahat ng bagay about our business is nakadocument ng maayos. Strong, strong value proposition. A strong value proposition establishes what the business offers and determines why the business is better than its competitors. And so we have already discussed this from our last chapters. Key business partners, when creating a business model, the entrepreneur should also identify key partners who will contribute to the ability of the business to serve the customer. So, yun, isa sa mga key business partners natin ay yung mga employees din natin, no? yung mga katulong natin sa business natin. So, pwede yung mga waiter natin, yung mga waitress natin, yung mga service crew, yung mga janitor at janitress natin, yan, mga key business partners natin. And we should treat them as our partners, hindi lang basta empleyado lang. Kasi without them, hindi natin ma ma stable or hindi natin um, ma-achieve yung mga goals natin without our partners. Okay, next is the demand generation strategy. The entrepreneur needs a strategy that builds the interest of the consumer and that is designed to close sales. Consider how customer find the business and become aware of the brand. Ayan, so ito part naman siya na ang work din ng mga marketing natin. No? Kung paano mabibuild yung interest, yung confidence ng mga consumers. Ayan, and then kung paano nila makukulose yung deal. Innovation, it is important to plan for innovation. Do not think that the initial plan is enough. Review the business model to ensure that it will meet the ongoing needs of the consumer, especially nowadays na nagbubus na or mas nagiging high-tech na yung mga, um, mga technologies natin. No? And then, kailangan maka-adapt agad-agad yung mga businesses or else baka magsara yung business natin. And innovation also being uh, creative and thinking of ways on how to minimize the steps, on how to um, improve the quality. Ayun yung mga types din ng mga innovation. 
So keeping these seven elements in mind will lead the creation of a solid business plan which will result in startup success. Yan. So dapat isa puso yung seven elements na yan. So we have the following activities in this chapter or in this lesson so we can check um, the creeper if um, if you want to expand by yung mga ideas nyo in this lesson. So uh, we have the following activities. And so yun, we can explain business concept, business model, manufacturing, distributorship, brick and mortar. Yan, oh, with our own words known. Yeah.